Okay, um, Dirk here. It's time for another update um, on my router. Uh, made quite a bit of progress here, um, and I've done. Uh, I want to talk about the um, uh, main power uh, installation for the unit. Um, so the first thing that I did uh, was run a. Uh, um, 220 outlet, um, and I don't know if this is going to show up on here, maybe, you can see that um, it's a generator style plug, um, and there's four outlet, or four prongs on that plug, um, maybe it'll be better if I show this, uh, so there's uh, one for each uh, 120 phase, a ground and a neutral, and that will allow me to um, split out 120 phase safely um, through the use of a uh, separate sub-panel. Um, so uh, what I found out is that the machine is going to need a 30 amp service uh, from the panel. So um, I ran 10.3 with ground uh, to this outlet from my 100 amp sub-panel. Uh, of course, following all the local codes and everything like that, getting it all in in, in conduit, and um, uh, and then what I did is went to the local home center, and I got this. Uh, it's refocusing there. I got this uh, um, heavy duty 10-4 uh, conductor uh, power cord. It's stranded. Uh, wire so it is flexible and it's safe to use as a power extension cord um, and actually <laughs> uh, if you luck out like I did uh, I was only gonna buy eight feet figuring that would be more than enough uh, for this conductor um, and I got the end of the roll and I said well I only need eight feet and the guy says well I don't think we're going to be able to sell the rest of it, so he gave me about 20 feet um, off of the roll. <laughs> so uh, I ended up with a, a power cord that's long enough that if I had casters and wheels and the desire to re-level this thing, I could move it anywhere in the shop um, and still be able to plug it into this outlet. Um, uh, the reason that it needs 30 amp service is because the spindle it's a that's going to go in here um, is a three horsepower three phase spindle so it draws um, eight eight and a half amps of three phase power but the VFD is supplied with 220 single phase so it needs at least 17 amps there um, and then the uh, motor control box um, the motor control box draws, I think, 9 amps, uh, if I remember cor correctly, and that's 9 amps of 120 uh, power, so um, one phase of the power draw will have uh, 26 amps on it um, uh, total, so um, anyway, uh, what I did was also went to the home center and picked up... Um, another 100 amp sub panel and uh, wired this thing up so that the power cord comes directly into the box and then I've got um, a 20 amp 220 breaker that's going to power the VFD and then two uh, 20 amp breakers that are going to power the other phases um, and then in the 100 amp sub panel uh, I've got a 30 amp breaker so that I'm protecting the 10-2 uh, wire, or 10-3 10, 10 with ground wire. Um, so nothing's going to see more than 30 amps in that box, even though I have more breaker capacity than that in there. So then those single phase come out to this uh, double wide uh, plug here, and um, the uh, uh, power supply is going to be plugged into one of these outlets and then the computer and any auxiliaries are going to come out of this um, now I did add also in the uh, two tw in the uh, spindle run uh, I added this uh, main power switch here so that I could 
easily disable the power um, and make sure that it's off. Uh, if I need to be running a test or something like that and I don't want to make sure that the spindle is off. Um, and then what I did is I ran 12-3 12, th 12, with ground to this box and off of one of the phases I pulled down to a uh, GFCI plug which is going to power the pump. Um, and you can see I've got the pump lines running in here.